Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're fishing on West Battle Lake in Minnesota for muskies with Dave Williamson. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, holy, holy. Oh my God. Man, it's oh, me oh, yeah. oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Honestly, a fight I've never felt before. Yes, folks, October has arrived, and I guess we would have to call this, Pete, our second annual Recon Muskie outing in north central Minnesota. How does that sound? Exactly. I, I love the sound of it. Well, we're on West Battle Lake, and uh, we're going to talk to Dave Williamson, who guides out here a little bit later on. He was telling me that this was one of the original lakes that was stocked with muskies in Minnesota back in 1963. Can you believe that? Oh, yeah, and I was actually aware of that, and I fished the lake quite a few years ago myself so I've been here several times Great Lake and of course they've had a really good stocking program here in Minnesota created some great fisheries all right hey Blake we're gonna have fun though right yeah. hey folks so show what we're using and how we're using it all of that coming up right after this Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's River Blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Wear for the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. Using chemical-free cooling technology, our Shade and Eclipse series is designed with unique fabric to wick moisture away, as well as create pockets for air to keep you cool. Whether on the boat or on the dock, choose Blackfish, because you can choose the weather. Blackfishgear.com. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose-built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next-level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, our recon boat outing on West Battle Lake in Minnesota. Pete, a sucker's important this time of yeah. year. Yeah, huh? well, let's hope it's important this time of year, but they should be, yeah, John. There's, there, it's getting to be that time of the year. The water temps are getting down. We're almost on turnover. I don't think we're quite there yet, but suckers should help. Since the water hasn't turned over yet, uh, we can pretty much use a wide variety of baits. One bait that Recon John really likes to throw is, what is this? He's actually upset that it's not tied to his rod right now and that you're holding it. But that's the Sound Science Bucktail that we did really well on last year, yeah. Okay, and yeah. a bait that I like to use here, it's small for muskies, but for me it's nice and easy to retrieve. But this bait, I've seen a lot of fish on this bait. Yeah, real good action, John. And, the, and there are bigger ones if you feel like working a little harder. No, but uh, this is called <laughs> no. what now? Livingston Headhunter. So cast it out and twitch, cast it out and yep. twitch. Yeah, and soft plastics, but but literally everything. We, we should try, try some top water too. Hey, Recon John, he's going to be the first connect. I don't think this is a muskie though, John. I don't think it is either, unless it's a tiny one. Oh. Recon, what oh, do we got? Bass. bass, you can flip him in there, buddy. Hey, look at this. <laughs> oh, I mean, you want to get the net? No, but you used to love bass fishing, didn't you? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> look at that. Hey, Pete, we're on the board. Hey. We got one. Oh, that's not too bad. No, no, that's a nice fatty right there, too. That's a pretty good sized little bass. You don't want to hook him up. No, you can't do that in Minnesota. I was going to say, be good musky bait. <laughs> nice job. Ooh, there's one. Ooh, yes, yes, 
Yes! Oh, was that cool? Was that cool? That was right by the side of the boat. Right by the side of the boat, Pete. That was awesome, buddy. That was cool. You just saw him at the very end, too, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him coming up. And... That is neat, man. Nicely done. Nicely done, man. Nice fish, too, huh? Yeah, yeah, not a bad one. Not and you know, this, we, we got to talk about this, too, when you get this baby in. What I'm amazed at is using a surface bait in October, you know? Well, yeah, it's a real cool night, John, but this is about the time of day that, you know, it was really neat to see him come in. Yeah, beautiful yeah. fish, man. That is. Boy, he's fighting. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to get him to eat, and then he, Ooh, all of yeah, a sudden. Yeah, that is a nice fish, man. Oops. I haven't netted a fish for you in quite a while. I'm getting it stuck in the <laughs> in the rods and everything else. He must be hooked pretty good, huh? Uh, let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. Nah, I think, I think we're going to get him. All right, here you go, Are buddy. Are you going to get him now? Yeah, I think you got him. You're gonna get them out of there. Look, there we, I am. I am. There we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, give me a pound, though, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. I there was no warning there until the very end of that cast. Uh, I saw he didn't make any wake or anything. I just saw him kind of creeping in. Yeah. And, and I did a little move with it, and he just, I, he closed about five feet just at once. Boom. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he wants Be to wrestle. Beautiful fish, Pete. Isn't that gorgeous, yeah. buddy? I mean, that head on it. And, and the hit was so exciting. That I, was an awesome hit. Yeah. yeah. Really was. You've been hot lately, too, buddy. You know? Yeah, I've caught a couple lately. You have. Push yeah, that tail it's out. been good. Yeah, push the tail out a little bit so you can get mm. an idea. That's a gorgeous fish. And uh, okay. I would Let's say about 45. Yep. Yep. Cool job there, buddy. But yeah, when, once we get situated here, folks, Ooh, and she'll go back. Oh, here. there she goes. Beautiful. But uh, I want to show this bait, and we will in a second here. But what That's I right. what I really want to talk about is really, you know, here we are, the very first of October, and you're throwing a surface bait. And so many guys don't this time of year. No, that's true, John, but even more so with this Leech Lake strain of fish, I mean, they will hit them in the cold weather. When you get in a situation we got right now, we got pretty calm water, bewitching hour, you know, right before dark. It's a great time to try it. That was pretty exciting, wasn't it? That was a beauty. So you know exactly what I did as soon as uh, Pete caught that oh, you, fish? You got the water. I took his bait. <laughs> What's this thing called again, Pete? The Walking Boss 2. The Walking Boss 2, and we'll actually show how that works tomorrow. And you know, you're too young to remember the old bass bait called a jitterbug. Yeah. It's kind of got that same action. But that was interesting, Pete, today. You know, we didn't see a fish until that thing exploded on that bait. And, and that can be kind of typical this time of year where you get a short window right before dark, right? Yeah, John, the only good news about not seeing anything is a lot of times that does mean that, you know, right at last light, you'll get at least one shot. Well, Blake, day two of our musky adventure on West Battle Lake in Minnesota. You woke up this morning and what did you hear on the roof? Rain. Rain, and it's uh, 37 <laughs> degrees out. But uh, I should mention today, too, that we have guests with us today. In that recon boat over there, we have our friends Dave Williamson, Dustin Carlson, and we have our guest in our boat today. Who is that? Dan Peterson. Dan Peterson from, from Amsoil. Amsoil is with us. And you know, Pete, when you wake up to weather like this, you wonder why guys fish so hard for a fish that they just let go when they're done. Musky fishermen are a little odd. <laughs> Somebody once said, John, that muskies suck. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's odd, but it's just one of those things you can't help yourself, I guess. Well, <laughs> beautiful day, isn't it? What do you got, Pete? What uh, do you got? Pretty nice pike. Oh, nice, Pete. Nice, nice. Way to go there, buddy. Dan, get that net. Get that net. Do you need help with the rods, Pete? Nah, I got it now. Got it. All right, Peter. There he is, man. All right. Not Boy, a big fish, but a big pike. northern pike. He kind of ate it. That is a nice <laughs> pike, buddy. Yeah, look at how he's got that tube. Actually, you know, we, we should tell the folks we showed yeah, no, one, no. but there are a lot of pike in here, aren't there, Pete? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your hands are a little cold, aren't they? John, I when I had to grab that pliers, I mean, he grabbed it really good, but part of the problem is my hands are numb. 
Folks, last night Pete actually surprised me catching a fish on a surface bait when it's 48 degrees out. But this walking boss, the last two years has been incredible. We've caught some really big fish on this, and and it does make noise like the, all the Livingston baits do, like a wounded bait fish. But Pete, the action on this thing is, is really unique, and and again, kind of like the old bass jitterbugs, right? Yeah, it is, John. It's uh, you know with the joint there, it's got a really an, an oversized uh, jitterbug style lip, and it's just got a lot of kick that. That big lip provides a lot of pop, and then there's a lot of clicking going on in the joints as well. And then you can add to that the EBS technology making the distressed bait fish sound. So there's a lot of noise there. It's good presentation in calm water, though. A lot of action. What do you got there? <laughs> Let's see. We got well, ourselves. it's not exactly a trophy, John. No, a teensy, teensy pikearoo there. Isn't he cute? Let's yeah. see him there. Let's see him. Oh, he's a cute. Oh, you want to see him? Well, the bait's bigger than he is, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a large one. <laughs> there you go, John. Hey, little pikearoo. Your first pikearoo. Oh, bigger than the one you caught. No, oh, I don't come think on. so. That's a lot bigger, isn't it? Uh, maybe an inch. Well, you're not yelling at me for bringing them in this way. That's nice. Well, just be careful. There I don't want go. you hurt. Hey, yay. Hey, 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 hey. Mine's bigger than Pete's. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Woo. No, seriously, folks, when you clean these, you get five sides, two <laughs> off the side, one off the back, and then two off the tail area. That's five sides. Nice pike. We were fishing West Battle Lake in north central Minnesota, an eight-hour drive from Milwaukee, nine hours from Chicago, and two and a half hours from Minneapolis. Excellent. Oh, there's a good one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at how he ate that, he too. He ate that Google Eye jig. This is the Google Eye. It's available in a live bait series and then a long hook shank series. And what we did is we took a glass rattle and built it into the middle of the round jig head. And just bouncing it, it hits the bottom. That glass rattle's rattling and it's sending off vibration in this dirty water in this river. And that's the result right there. This one's coming home with me. Fleet Farm has everything you need for every season of life. Whether it's I'll fix it myself season, or finally time for warmer Carhartt season. Get what you need for nothing beats an after school snack season. Say goodbye 1970s family room season. And even mornings are getting brisk season. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. You know, Pete, at our house during the football season, Johnsonville is king. Your house, too? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not going to cook brats for you today, although I would like to. I'm not going to cook Italians for you, although I would like to. I got another treat for you. I've got Johnsonville Original Summer Sausage. Oh, and yeah. we put our special spices in there. We got 100% pure premium pork, 100% pure premium beef, and again, the special Johnsonville spices. And I love them with crackers and cheese, but out on the boat, I like to make a summer sausage sandwich. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Hold really that is. up, buddy. Yeah. That's Johnsonville original summer sausage. We make other flavors too, but that one is delicious, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Very good. Ooh, ooh, Pete. Yeah, he's going, buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah, we uh he's right up. I can actually see him. Decent fish? Yeah. You see him? Oh, yeah, 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 I do, I do. Now, we, the boat doesn't scare him once they grab on, does it? I, I think he's... Ooh, watch this, folks. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, my gosh, yes, Pete! Great job there, Pete! Great job there, buddy! Great job there, buddy! That was so cool! Awesome, that was looks kinda it. cool. Awesome. Oh, they're having lunch. 
Awesome. Yeah, well, you still got Johnsonville sausage on your mouth, too. <laughs> you oh, what? You no, know, you don't. <laughs> oh, keep that rod down, man. What are you going to do here, Pete? Uh, he's uh, getting it all around. Oh, yeah. You need help with that other rod? No, oh. not the other rod. Just uh, trying to keep the fish out of the oven, Rude. Oh, I got you there, buddy. Is he a big one? I haven't really gotten a close no, look at him. Oh, he's decent. He's not a monster, John. Okay, buddy. All right, man. I'll be ready for you here, buddy. Whoa. And he's there right in the we go. We there got him. Go. Nice job there, pal. Nice job. Oh, Tell yeah. the folks what we were just doing. We were eating Johnsonville, and we were chatting with the boys over here, and all of a sudden I looked down, and I saw the line out, and there was a fish on it. So hey, you know what, though, what I really want to talk about? Once they grab hold of a sucker, and, you know, we showed it a couple of weeks ago on Leech, how you start the motor and go after him, it, ta it takes a lot to scare him to drop a sucker, right? Yeah, I don't worry about dropping them. You want to you wanna get the right angle. That was something I was considering doing here, but I could literally see the fish. And usually if you keep putting a little pressure on, they'll move away. Right. And you saw what happened when he finally did. I just created a little slack and set the hook when he started moving down. Well, that's a nice fatty right there. Oh, yeah. Pete. And that was fun. And you uh, know what? Maybe he smelled the Johnsonville sausage. Oh, yeah. I like his timing. Yeah. I enjoyed lunch. He wanted lunch. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Nicely done, though, buddy. And, and, and again, right, you know what? Don't go back in the net. What is so much fun, though, about watching Pete set the hook, folks, is, is is making sure that that fish is moving away. And you know, I've fished with you a long time now, and uh, I love to do the hook sets, but you do it pretty darn good, better than anybody else, and you like it. I do like it, it's kind of fun. Yay! 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 <laughs> it's not a muskie, but it's... <laughs> well, you've been throwing that bait pretty hard all day there, Blake. Yeah. And uh, look at that, Peter. It's just a teensy, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a teensy. You caught him on a musky rod and reel there. <sighs> and that, that's fun, you know? <laughs> but I got to say, Blake, you know, you, you started musky fishing a couple of weeks ago, and you're doing a great job casting and following instructions. And, yeah. and that's the important thing, that figure eight that, you're, that you've learned how to do, right? Mm -hmm. I'm slowly, slowly getting it. You're not slowly getting it. You're doing a good <laughs> job. And uh, that's not a monster, but it is a fish. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What do you got? Oh, 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 look at that. Another pike arena there, Blake. All right, you're the pike queen. There we go. Wow. A, you kind of got them hooked a little odd there. But when you grab them, now tell the folks when you grab them, how do you grab them? Super hard, right by the neck. Right in the back of the neck there. I think that's preparing me for the. Big musky yeah. hit. Well, you're hanging in there, Pete. Are you proud that she's casting? Absolutely. So you'll get paid off, but not a bad little pike there. Well, not bad. No. Nope. No. Hang in there, though. I'm like I, I promise you. You know, you've been musky fishing for several days now, not together, but yeah. uh, you still haven't had that big hawump. I need it. Yeah. Well, not a bad day. We got a muskie in the boat, yeah, right? Yeah, we saw a couple fish. It wasn't too bad. Hey, some exciting things happening at Amsoil. Uh, we have the Midwest Fishing Report, and, and this is video reports from all over. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it, John. It's video reports from professional guides from Lake Erie all the way up to North Dakota, and it's people that are out fishing, professional guides out fishing with tips on where to fish, what to fish for, and then where to uh, go for the structure. And I think what's cool about this Midwest Fishing Report is it's updated the middle of the month, every month, and it's all new, solid information. Yeah, it's pretty current, and it's uh, guys who are actually out fishing every day, real authentic guys, and once in a while they'll tell some stories, John. Yeah, and show some pictures too. And again, folks want to see the fishing report? Yeah, it's amsoil.com backslash MFR. Amsoil.com backslash MFR. Yeah, thanks for doing that. It helps a lot of fishermen in the Midwest. Well, we appreciate it, John. Thanks for the opportunity. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Take a look at this deal, folks. $5.99 for reef runners. $5.99 for reef runners. These are available at select Fleet Farm stores while supplies last. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, 
It's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about trailer bearings. One of the most neglected pieces on that trailer are the bearings. People just don't think about them, especially with a boat trailer where it's going in and out of the water, even an ATV, UTV trailer, or a snowmobile trailer that's going down the highway in the water in adverse conditions. You always want to make sure you check those bearings and apply some grease when you can. You definitely want to check them seasonally. Amsoil's water-resistant grease is a perfect choice for your trailers. For more information on any of our greases, check out amsoil.com. Folks, taking a little break in the fishing, I want to talk a little bit about our recon boats. You and I, Dustin, have been running them for two years. I think it's the perfect all-species boat for big and small water. And we got some big news. Our pro staff boats are currently for sale. They are. They are, yes. Uh, the boats that a few of us pro staff have been running this year are going to be for sale at the end of the season. And I encourage everybody to go to reconboats.com for more information. But these boats are loaded, John. Oh, they're incredibly loaded. I mean, you've got uh, multiple locators on them. You got the best uh, Minn Kota uh, trolling motors, not to speak of the 300 Evinrude, which is an awesome engine. I love that 300 Evinrude. You talk about fuel economy and uh, hole shot, it's impressive, John. Well, if it's like last year, they're going to go fast. They will. So, they will. Uh, again, where do you go? Reconboats.com for more information. And uh, everybody, jump on the website and check out uh, these great prices on the recon boats. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got, Pete? Pete! I didn't even know what was going on. I was well, casting it, looking at my bait. Oh, look at that. You got a pikey. Another beautiful pike. That is a nice one. Blake, can you grab that net there? There we go. I didn't even know what was going on. That's a beautiful well, northern it, it, pig. It went on pretty quickly. Yeah. No, I was watching. I just had a follow from a muskie, and I was paying real close attention. All of a sudden, Ryan, the photographer, said, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, he's yeah. a fatty. Chunky fish. That is. Yeah. Now, it looks like he just ate. Yeah. Now, you know. Oh, there goes our net. Uh -oh. Well, oh, no. Well, Good that's save, all right. Pete. Hey, buddy. Grab the net. Grab the net, Blake. The net. Okay. There we go. No, that is a fatty, man. That's yeah, a beauty, nice man. Fish. Oh, Blake's going to get a chance. I was it's just, going, it's going down. As hard as you can, ahead. Blake. No! Hard, hard. No! No, Blake! Real, 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 Blake! Real, Blake! Blake, Blake! Yeah, all right, way to go, Blake! I get that net. We're going to want to net this one right away, Blake! Blake, Blake! Oh, yes, Blake! Oh, Blake! Blake! Oh, Blake. oh it's a giant! It's a big fish! It's a big fish, Blake! Real! Oh! Oh. What the heck? Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. I thought we had that one. I thought, well, the, the hook sucker was gone. Yeah, you did everything right. You did right. everything right. Came off. I yes. was just loosening the drag. Oh, man. Oh. oh. I don't even know what to say. I want to cry. Don't cry. <laughs> There's no crying in fishing. <laughs> it's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2018 Fishing Contest. Ken Krizaminski of Tinley Park caught this 45 inch northern on the Tolston River on a swim bait. Cody Kukuk of Manitowoc boated this 42-inch salmon on Lake Michigan on a fly. Dallas Tweed of Ogilvie, Minnesota caught this 17-inch crappie in Atkin County on a plastic tail. Lance Lederman of Rockton, Illinois boated this 22-inch bass on Lake Wingra on a booger tail. And this week's kids winners are Gwen Mantufel of West Bend caught this 38-inch salmon on Lake Michigan on a J-plug. And Marianne Blickle of Mount Pleasant caught this 15-inch crappie on Rolling Stone Lake on a minnow. Ooh, you grabbed it. What happened? Oh, you got one going, Pete? Yeah. Oh, good. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Yes! Yes! Oh, I got you, buddy! I got you, buddy! I got you, man! Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Ooh, nice musky, oh, Pete. Yeah. Nice musky, buddy. Nice musky. All right, Peter. Way to go, Peter. And beautiful fish. Yeah. Hey, way to go there, buddy. Holy.
Holy cow! <laughs> now there, folks, is a really neat example of how quickly you want to set the hook on a quick strike rig, right? Yep, yeah, that fish was going down, hit him right away, yeah. We have had several times this morning, our, <laughs> our suckers get real nervous, they start going, doo, 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 oh. around, and you pick that up and you kind of teased him a little bit. Yeah, I teased him, he was running all around, I don't know if the camera was on yet, but I just made the comment, I said, I don't know why, they won't hit that when they're ch there's that many fish around yeah. and, not, and that's when he hits. <laughs> but that's that that folks is is a real example of how fast you hit a fish with a quick strike rig. You saw him moving away and boom. Yeah. Right. That is a fat fish. What do you right think, there. Blake? That is incredible. <laughs> No, that is a look at the tummy on that. Yeah. That's a rusty tummy. <laughs> He's been eating some Johnsonville. Wow, no, that, oh, that was gorgeous. And Blake, I'm wow. waiting for the day, Blake, when when one hits your lure like that. You that know? is something. I'm Pick looking forward to it. For what a beautiful wow. fish. Big, big tummy, man. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'm getting tired holding oh, this yeah. one. I think Gosh. it's time for her to go back. There you go, pal. Oh, that's that's oh. marvelous, buddy. That really is. Hey, you know what? That was a nice fish Pete just caught. But hey, want to mention where folks want to come over here to West Battle, a good place to stay is? Sunset Beach Resort. Uh, the owner, Glenn, he uh, really stands up for muskies. He's real supportive of musky fishing. Good guy to, uh, to support. Yeah, a great place to stay. Again, the name is? Sunset Beach Resort on West Battle Lake. Dave Williamson guides West Battle Lake on a daily basis. For more information, give Dave a call. That number is 320-491-2898. 491-2898. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a Mustad hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, there is a big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? It's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. Great show, guys. Thanks. Appreciate yeah, it, man. We'll again, see you John. soon. See you, and, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know. We're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. 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 Can you? Yeah.